After more than a month of curfews and lockdowns and at least an additional month to go, the question remains, where are we with relaxing the restrictions? What comes next? To that, the prime minister said this. Even as we look and plan to open back up, we will not and cannot establish a fixed timetable that says we will do this particular thing on one date and another on another date. While the government establishes plans, the general timing of the phased reopening recommended by the Coordination Committee will be predicated upon metrics and guidelines by health professionals. Based on the graphic, the country's measured plan for reopening sits at phase 1A, where economically essential businesses are open. NGOs and churches are providing food to the needy, home and hardware, nurseries and auto parts stores are open today's property management and landscaping and PPE and sanitizer manufacturers Monday through Friday. Socially, there's a 24-hour curfew, a lockdown beginning Friday at 9 p.m., and exercise 90 minutes in one's neighborhood. Phase 5 will indicate a full relaxation with the restarting of tourism and reopening of borders. The Prime Minister making it clear that, of course, should the numbers not move in the right direction, the government will make the necessary changes to tighten restrictions. Now, as we've reported, members of the Economic Recovery Committee have been named and the 17-member group's been charged with coming up with practical, innovative, as well as doable recommendations on the way forward. This committee must think quickly as we are in a crisis now. They must not delay decisions. Ideas from all existing sectors should be reviewed. Ideas and sectors we are not yet in must also be pursued. We must use our individual and collective Bahamian imagination for greater self-reliance. Well, taking issue with the committee members was independent MP Reese Stripman, who says while he's worked with many of the members, the government continues to recycle the same people. Everyone on this committee, Mr. Speaker, is already serving on three or four boards. Mr. Speaker, this type of recycling speaks to a disconnect and a detachment between our parliament and our people, our boardrooms and our people back to the same old boys club. Kilani, you have to be bold. You have to be courageous. You have to be intentional. We need people to buy into this journey of recovery and it will not happen with the same model, the same mechanisms, but expecting new and dynamic change.